Creating a Projects or Work Examples page. In this video, we will be creating a section of your portfolio to display your projects and work samples. We will be exploring the layout options and buttons. To learn how to choose projects for your portfolio, see our accompanying video. In this case, our sample student has split her work into three categories in order to organize everything visually. Interior aesthetics, furniture, and framing. Once you've chosen three to five projects that you think will be most reflective of your skills, you need to decide how to best display them. There's no one right way to display your work. Depending on what projects you want to feature, Google Sites offers multiple layout options to showcase them in the best light. When creating our pages earlier, we made a projects homepage and three subpages. We'll begin with the homepage. The sample page that Google Sites has created works best to display an individual project with lots of visual elements. As there are a lot of placeholders for images, we're going to change this substantially for the home page. As we're using this page as an overview for all the projects you're displaying throughout your site, we'll begin by deleting the project name, title, and replacing it with a title-only header, simply entitled Projects. Under this, Sites prompts you to write a one to two sentence description of your project. We're going to describe what the viewer will find on this page. Next is a layout section with three spots for media. We're going to use this as a menu to preview your projects and link the viewer to the other project pages. We'll start by clicking the plus signs on our placeholders and uploading one picture from each of our project categories. We'll then go to the insert menu and click on button. A pop-up window will appear where you can type the title you'd like on the button and a place for the button to link to. When you click on link, you have the option to link to any of your internal pages, PDFs on your Google Drive, or any web URL. We are calling this first button Interior Aesthetics and linking to our Interior Aesthetics page on our Google site. The completed button will appear on your page. We are going to drag it above our image representing Interior Aesthetics, and it will automatically resize to fit the space. Repeat this process for your other sections. Along with the buttons, we also want to make the photo clickable to achieve the same goal, redirect the website viewers to our individual projects. To do this, we click on our image and click Insert Link. Then choose the appropriate page and click Apply. We're going to delete the rest of the text and image placeholders, but feel free to adapt these to your site's needs. We'll move on now to our first individual project page, Interior Aesthetics. If you want to use the same projects template page as the home page, duplicate the original in the page menu and drag it under the projects title to create a subpage. We will, however, be creating our page from scratch. We'll begin with a text box with the title style, then type the name of your project and center align. Create another text box underneath with the subheading style and write a brief description of this project or category. Next, go to the Insert menu and browse the layouts to find one that will work for your project. We're choosing this one with three image placeholders. Proceed to click on the plus signs and upload or select media. You can drag the images around to rearrange them in any way that you'd like or resize them to fit your vision. If you have more than three images, you can either upload your other images by clicking Images in the Insert menu or choosing another layout, as we will do here. Add as many pictures as you deem necessary to best represent your project, though if you have a lot of pictures, it may be best to use an image carousel to display them. We will go over how to do this shortly. Under this, we will create another subheading text box with a description of the images you are showcasing for your project, your process, and the artifacts you created along the way. Or, describe what role you played on your team, who did you have to work with to achieve your goal, what was the outcome of the project, etc. Any information that potential employers might find helpful to accompany or describe any media that you include. The final aspect of this page will be buttons at the bottom of the page to link to your next and previous projects so the site viewer can easily be directed to the next piece of content you want them to see. Choose Button from the Insert menu, title your button Next Project, and link to your next project page, in this case, Furniture. Repeat this process with Previous Project, in this case, linking to Framing. Drag the buttons so that they are in line. 
Next, we'll go to our framing page, already in progress. It is time to insert our images, but instead of using a gallery style photo layout, we will click on Image Carousel in the Insert menu. A pop up will appear where you can upload or select as many images as you'd like. They will appear in this gallery where you can drag them to rearrange the order, add text, or delete. There is a gear in the top right corner of this window. If you click this, you can change some of the carousel's options. Once you're happy with the photos, click Insert. The carousel will automatically appear left justified, but you can drag it around the page and resize it until you're happy. We're going to center ours and enlarge it. At any time, you can alter the images, the order, or the options by clicking the carousel and then clicking the gear that appears. Repeat this page creation process for as many projects as you'd like to include. Play around with different layouts and formatting. It will be more visually interesting if not all your pages look the same. Here is a preview of what your project section should look like when it's completed. To see yours, click the preview button in the top menu bar. In the next video, we will be learning to create pages for your testimonials and contact information.